Welcome to the discussion of basic integration or the antiderivative. To start off, let's have a quick review of how differentiation works. In this example, where y is equal to x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1, we know that the derivative would be 5x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 9x squared plus 4x plus 5. Integration is the opposite process of finding the derivative. So we know already that the integral of this new polynomial is x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. But is this its only integral? We will know. Reversing the differentiation process, all you have to do is first break down the polynomial into parts like this. Then treat each part as a single expression and then evaluate one by one. You may also put the numerical coefficient outside the expression first so that dividing would be easier later. It would look something like this. Apply the same process to the rest. Add 1 to 3, you get 4. Then divide the expression by 4. 4x cubed would be x to the 4th. For the remaining expressions, all you have to do is reverse the power rule. So instead of multiplying and subtracting, you would be adding and dividing. In this first expression, add 1 to the exponent, you will get 5. Then divide the whole expression by the acquired sum, which is 5, and there you get its integral. 5x to the 4th would be x to the 5th. When you're done evaluating, add all the values you got, and there you have solved its integral. Every polynomial is equal to itself plus 0. And since we know that the derivative of a constant is 0, we can conclude that any constant added to the integral we previously got would still produce the same results. Thus, we add plus c when we solve for integrals, where c could be any constant. This means that even if I add plus 5, plus 10, plus 64, or even plus 1000 to the original polynomial, I would still get the same integral. Therefore, the general integral of 5x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 9x squared plus 4x plus 5 is x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus c. In conclusion, during integration of polynomials, we always follow this form. For any function f of x, the integral of k, f of x raised to n, is equal to k, f of x raised to n plus 1, all over n plus 1, plus c. So let's try more examples. Number 1. y is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Getting the integral, the expression would be 4x raised to 3 plus 1 all over 3 plus 1 plus 3x raised to 2 plus 1 all over 2 plus 1 plus 2x raised to 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus 1 plus x raised to 0 plus 1, all over 0 plus 1. And of course, don't forget the c. Combining the terms, we get the general integral, x to the 4th plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus c. There you have it. And now we go to the next example. y is equal to x to the fifth minus 9x to the fourth plus 5x cubed minus 9x squared minus 8x plus 6. If we try to get the integral, we'll get x to the sixth over 6 minus 9x to the fifth over 5 
plus 5x to the 4th over 4, minus 9x cubed over 3, minus 8x squared over 2, plus 6x plus c. And for the final answer, we get x to the 6th over 6, minus 9x to the 5th over 5, plus 5x to the 4th over 4, minus 3x cubed, minus 4x squared, plus 6x, plus c.